an individual and you need a variety of opportunity for expression. Okay. You're a highly responsive individual. Yes, I like, I'm an action person. Can you give me an example of where you've been an action person? When I've not been in action? No, when you have been. Um, I wrote the head coach program with Diana in like two hours, got it done, go for books, go write a program, go teach a class. I can, when somebody says, will you come teach a class on such and such? And I go, sure, it doesn't take me too long to pull it together, I just have it. And I just, when, some, when, I need, when something needs to be done, so for example, if you ask me to have something done by Tuesday, and it's Tuesday this week, I'd have it done by Thursday, and then I'd sit on it and study it and look at it and review it, pass it around, talk to somebody. I'd have it way done before ahead of time. Like, I'm the kid that did homework, and I got it done before. I, I mean, I stayed at school and did it in the library. You were the kid I didn't like. <laughs> or I paid you to do mine. <laughs> I would have taken money. I did. I made good money in college. <laughs> I thought I recognized him. Uh, so you said you tend to be restless uh, if confined and you grow impatient in a one dimensional work situation. Yep. I get bored. You get bored. I need to be challenged. So is 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 boredom relieved by a challenge? Yes, in most cases, if it's a challenge that I would go, wow, that's pretty cool. Wonder how that's going to work. Let's get going. Yeah, I'd be pretty excited. Um, you said that you like a fast pace but you also like to feel in control of the environment and be correct when you're expressing yourself. I like to be correct when I express myself. Yeah, so you like a fast pace. Yeah. And you like to be in control of an environment so right. that you're correct when you express yourself. Yes, I wouldn't you. want to be incorrect. Okay. So you're guarded against being incorrect. That has been one of my challenges that I have to work with. I'm too much of a perfectionist on a lot of things. How does that translate in working with others? I mean, do you be, do you become a Well, I, I go with the 80% rule. 80% is going to be good enough. However, depending, and, and I say that not so, it's, it's kind of hard to say that because it's still going to turn in the best work I possibly can. But I, I know that, um, you can't get bogged down being a perfectionist. So I do the best I can with the time limit and I don't get bogged down by time. Time will not, my time is a killer. You can't, you can't do that. You've gotta have a time limit. Gotcha. So you said that you're adaptable and considerate of normal standards and expectations, but you base your actions on reason rather than people's opinions. I take my reason first. I feel very confident and usually, except for a few hiccups every now and then, not too often, I feel very confident about the way my thought process is. And I'm a very common sense person, extremely common sense. I don't like complicated situations. Um, other people's opinion matter and I will always listen to them. I will always be respectful. I will always say, good idea. And let me ask you a couple of questions about that. So I, I always validate that their idea, hey, thanks for thinking like that. It's like a top producer who wants to go from selling, or a producer who says when they sell 20, 24 homes, they want to sell 200 the next year. And they go, oh, I love a big thinker. So does Gary Keller. You know, so I always want to validate thinking. Does that make sense? Any kind of thinking. I validate it. You said you will not make concessions on important issues just to satisfy others. You're not a people pleaser, are you? No. <laughs> it's, you know, it's
it's, I mean, I, when you say a people pleaser, just to make somebody happy. Yeah, you don't base your, your actions on, on necessarily on just, other people's opinions. Yeah, it's very foreign. We'd have to discuss that more. No, I don't. Do and you that. don't make concessions no. just to get along. Nope. No. I, but, you know, you going back. That, can I ask a question? No. Do you think that's how you got a reputation for also being a hard ass? <laughs> you know, I'm okay with that until you get to know me and then you love me. You know, and I'm very shy, so they see that I'm just a very driven, very focused. I have extremely high standards. You know, I know what needs to be done. Well, Anybody I, can make a million, two million, five million. It's just about discipline. Yeah, here. so what if I don't have time for you to get to know me before I displease you? Before you displease me? Yeah, so what if what if there's there, there has been any time for you for me to get to know you oh. or I displease you. But I won't do any harm to you, I'll only make your life better. I never I never will ever do harm to anyone intentionally. I mean, you know what I mean by that? I mean I, I focus on doing the right thing all the time. And when people say, gosh, you know, Monica's so tough and this and that, and they're going, Man, I'm a marshmallow. I don't know why they say that. I get that. All right, so let's stop here for a second. Are you getting it? And one of the things uh, I, I wanted you to observe is my willingness to actually create a little bit of conflict between us, okay? Uh, in, in my mind, uh, I want, I want to, to push her around a little bit because what I want to see is if I'm going to, to go into business with this person in some capacity, I want to kind of understand just how open and frank we can be. Because for me personally, uh, I'm extremely transparent and I have an expectation of transparency. So I'm, I'm, I'm going to take her words and I'm going to potentially hand them back. At some point, I'll find a moment with every individual and I'll hand them back to her in a way and then I'm gonna watch whether she gets offended or whether she leans into it. Now, did she get offended or did she lean into it? She leaned into it, there you go. Yeah, that's right, she leaned into it. Um, I've had a lot of people not. I've had a lot of people as we go through this, right? So I'm gonna stop with this portion of it because I think you got it, right?